What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Y, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another banger today, guys, on the sneakers that I'll be wearing every single day for the rest of the year. So guys, I got this package in finally from Sneakers and Stuff. Huge shout out to Sneakers and Stuff. Also guys, the sample blast from the past T right here. Just check it out. You know what I'm saying? Sample right there. Sample line D. You see the T right there? This thing is dropping this Saturday. Make sure you guys are following us over on Twitter at SMPLIND, which I will link down below in the description. I will link our website as well and our IG. We'll be dropping these things in limited size quantity this upcoming Saturday. But guys, this sneaker, man, I've been waiting for this thing for quite some time. This shoe I didn't even think really released on the sneakers app, at least I didn't see it released on the sneakers app. Another variation of the sneaker did, but I wasn't able to get my hands on it. I didn't see it. As soon as I saw it on sneakers and stuff, huge shout out to the homie whoever pointed me to it. Somebody did. Sneakers and stuff, thank you for shopping. Here is the information you need regarding returns and refunds. We definitely don't need that. We got the Nike box right here. I've been talking about this shoe for quite some time. Some new technology in this shoe as well. And uh, yeah, Nike box. On. Man, it's been quite, it's been a long time since I've purchased a Nike, red Nike shoe box shoe, a shoe that comes in a red Nike box. This shit right here, pussy popping on the motherfucking handstand, back at it like a motherfucking crack at it. Right here, you see it though yourself, the Nike Joyride CC3 Setter. Size eight and a half. The retail on this was 190 bucks. I think 180, I think for sure. I, I can't confirm, but hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta sing this. God damn, little mama. God damn, little mama. Preparation ready, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys are following me over on Twitch, man. I'll be gaming each and every night pretty much, and I will link that down below. 20 d 2 wild on Twitch, follow me. 2K is coming in full effect. Giveaway on that coming soon as well. Two to three copies I'm gonna be giving away, and two to three copies on Call of Duty. That's a little, you know, shameless plug. Guys, we finally got our hands on the pair of Joy Rides, and this is the Setter Edition. Looks very, very different than the version we've been seeing. You know, floating around the internet, everybody else is getting their hands on. This is the pair that I wanted to get my hands on because I wanted to wear this sneaker pretty much every single day of the week, year, and all the above. I'm going to be rocking the hell out of this shoe. And maybe I can give you a 30 days after rocking this shoe type of video because, I mean, first and foremost, it is all white. So, you know what we got to do with that. We got to bless this thing with some rejuvenator because it's definitely going to get, you know, poisoned up. Use that code, turn it too wild. For an extra 10% off. Man, I'm doing a lot of shameless plugs in this damn video. Jeez Louise. Forgive me for that, guys. Forgive me for that. But I got to put this on here because I'm not... On everything I love, I got to put this on here. And I'm not supposed to be doing this on the inside of the house. But, you know, it is what it is. I just need to do it now because I'll forget about it later. But the Nike Joyride features the TBD, TBE, TBC, PCP... No, no, THC... No, 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 These Bs that are on the bottom of the shoe that gives that extra comfort in the sneaker. And you can actually, like... Hear them. Listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, nah. But you can hear the beads moving in the bottom of the shoe. So these things are actually moving way more freely than I thought. From just pictures, I thought these things were so jam packed that you wouldn't see any movement at all. But you can literally see the beads. You can actually put them. This actually like some give into the soul and I actually like that a lot because I feel like a lot of the shoes in the past especially like LeBron's and all that that had those pods or those air pods it was so thick on the sole that you couldn't really feel it and like you didn't for shoes like the LeBron's you had to weigh a certain weight to actually get the shoe to give or get the technology to give the thick sole was so thick and like so much going on that you had to weigh like 230 pounds for the actual sole and air unit to do its full effect. You know, that, that's just something I never liked about older models. Not really old, but like the LeBron 15s and all that. The air units were not giving. But with these TBD, TPC, whatever the hell bees they are, you can tell off the rip that they feel good on the sole. But overall though, the look is what really got me into this sneaker. The lacing system that goes on the front, but also on the side, the Nike Joyride around the little collar right there, the Nike swoosh already on deck the inner look of the shoe the outer look of the shoe and this is probably one of the first shoes that i like like usually that top piece of the shoe it always looks dope you know what i'm saying 
always usually looks really, really clean when looking down, but sometimes the side might look uglier than the inside. But this shoe looks great just from that side action right there and that action. The least look inside is the, the top, this is my opinion. But another crazy feature about the shoe is the insole. Now, this is, may, maybe you can't, I mean, let me get my clothes face in there. Just look at that insole. Like, that's a hump in there. It's like a goddamn camel's back inside on the insole. And this thing is not something you can remove but you can put your finger in there and feel the beads through the sole. So these beads will go all the way to the insole. The insole's right there. You can push it and listen once again. Hopefully you're picking this up. I don't, hopefully you're picking that up. All around though, this sneaker is extremely dope. I've been waiting to get my hands and test out this new Nike technology. I'm looking forward to Nike and seeing what they do with it. Hopefully it's something that is brand new that is going to last long, you know. The React has been a great, great addition to Nike and what they've been doing with soles and comfort and shoes. But these joy rides, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with this technology, bringing it into the future of sneakers, basketball, what other, whatever other sports they're going to do it with. But the look on this one in particular was the one that made me go and bite the bullet and cop it. And, you know, it's a dope new Nike product. I mean, I haven't bought any new Nike shoes. Usually I'm buying like the old retros or whatever it is, but something like brand new. It's extremely dope and I'm happy to have it in my collection. This pair in particular, I copped off of sneakers and stuff. I will link down below in the description any other sites that I was able to find this on. If sneakers and stuff still has them, I will link you to that. If they're on sneakers app, I will link you to that. We'll link everything down below in the description where you can cop this shoe in particular if you want to get your hands on it. And I'll link you down below to some other Nike Joyride products alternatives that feature the joyride bottom but the uppers look slightly different also guys let me know if you know if you copped a pair of these if you what you thoughts and opinions on them are they dope are they not i would like to hear you guys down below in the comment section and i love you guys man it's your boy tony d2 wild i'm checking in i'm checking out we're gonna end you guys off with an on foot